Hi artists. Today we are going to draw some birch trees using space. I'm going to draw some of my trees close, some of my trees a little further away, and then some of my trees further back in the distance. It is up to you whether or not you want to draw these during winter time. You are more than welcome to choose any season of the year. If you would like to choose spring, I recommend putting some green leaves on your trees. For fall, I would use red, orange, yellow, and even put some trees on the ground. For winter, I would make bare leaves, so no leaves at all on the branches, and then maybe put some cool colors in the sky behind the trees. This part is totally up to you. Your art does not need to look like mine. Let's go ahead and get started. To get started on my birch trees, I'm going to use a Sharpie to draw with. Uh, you could also use a black marker or a black crayon. What I'm going to do is draw some trees close and far. For the trees that are close in my forest, I'm going to start all the way at the bottom and make a line going up. It does not need to be perfectly straight to kind of match the texture of the tree. And then I'll make the other side of the trunk going up. Birch trees have a very distinctive bark. So to mimic that and make that texture, I'm going to make some horizontal lines going across the tree just kind of randomly. I don't want them all to be the same length. I'm making some far apart, some close. And then I'll do the same thing on the other side. Then I can make a tree that is a little bit further away. So I'm actually going to see the bottom of this tree, but I'll make it pretty close to the bottom of my paper. So I'll go across and I want this tree that I'm making to be skinnier than my first one because it's further away. And I'll make two lines going up. If you want to make a few branches sticking off at the top, you can. These are diagonal lines. Like I've kind of said before, my rule when making branches is to make a V or a Y shape. So make a diagonal and then make the V, which becomes a Y when I make the rest of the branch. And I'll add the texture for the bark with horizontal lines. I'll make it on little branches as well. Don't want to forget that. My paper is definitely not full yet. So I'll make a few more trees. The next tree is going to be a little further away. So I'll make it a little further up the page and a little bit skinnier. Then add texture. As the trees get further away, I tend to add less details because you just can't see as much as things get farther away. And I definitely see this empty space here, like maybe two more trees. I bet I could fit two more in here that are 
further up the page and even skinnier. And it's okay if they overlap, no big deal. Just like that. Put a few lines on these, the bark. Now that I have my birch trees, I need to make the ground. I need to make it a little bit higher than these two trees in the back, so all the trees appear to be on the forest floor. I'll start at the edge of my paper, making a horizontal line, hopping over the trees as I go. Now I'm ready to add color. If you want to make this a winter scene, I would leave the ground white so it looks like snow. If it's a fall or a spring scene, I would put the leaves on the ground or some grass so it looks like that season. Since it is winter, I'm going to make this a winter scene. The only thing I want to do on the ground is make the shadow for the trees. You can do this using black paint. You could do, do this using a black or gray crayon. I'm gonna use my crayons today. So I, I'm choosing gray because I don't always like using black for a shadow. Blue and purple also make good shadow colors. The shadows are gonna be a diagonal. I want them to all go in the same direction. So I'm just going to make a little shadow starting under the tree here and then moving it in a diagonal line. Same with this shadow, it will be skinnier because it's the tree's skinnier while it's further away. So making it the shadow go behind this tree. Just coloring back and forth. Just like that. This shadow kind of runs into this one, so I can't see the end of it. And then I have one more right here. Adding shadows gives your art a little bit more depth. It makes it look a little bit more three-dimensional. For the sky, you can either paint it or color. I'm in the mood for coloring today. To make this look more like a winter scene, I'm going to use some cool colors. You could always do a sunset in the background. I'm going to use gray again, uh, blue, and purple. I'm going to uh, use my lightest color, which is gray at the bottom. So I'm just going to make some lines going up and down. Again, hopping over the trees as I go. Then I'm going to very lightly use a little bit more gray because I want to mix my blue in with this. I'm going to grab my blue. And again, I'm starting on top of my gray to kind of mix those colors together. I don't want it to be the straight line across the sky. So you can see I'm bringing the blue even all the way down to the bottom in some places. Then I'll do the same thing. I'm gonna add a little bit more blue, but really lightly, because this is where the blue and the purple are gonna to mix together. Last, I'll add my purple. Again, I'm starting on top of the blue, blending, mixing together. 
I'm not using very much pressure right now. And then I'll fill in the very top with my purple. And now I'm using a little bit more pressure, making that purple a little bit taller or darker. And I'm finished. Since the birch trees are black and white and I decided to put snow on the ground, I can leave all of that be. I hope you have a lot of fun making your birch trees artists and I'll see you next time.